Hey y'all, what's shaking? It's your boy Jason. And oh snap, this dude ain't videotaping the dirty ceiling fan or pictures of the desktop on the TV screen or the cat. No, I'm in the car driving today because I told myself in 2014 I would get out the house no matter how I'm feeling or anything like that. So anyway, I'm going to get straight to the point, y'all. Um, I want to talk to y'all about the uh, rabbit hole or what I call the rabbit hole. So, like, if y'all notice, people are getting more conscious nowadays and whatnot, and, um, you know, people go on to search for information. So, when they go on to search for information, they come into what you would call a rabbit hole. When you're searching for knowledge and stuff, and the knowledge is, like, it's so endless, like, there's no end to it, just like a rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? So, you you might hear about things like, you know, um, human experimentation, weather modification, aliens, all kinds of weird conspiracies, hollow earth, uh, just about anything um, that could come into people's imaginations or could be real, you know, you never know, but it inspires you in some fashion or another to look at the world differently than you've than you've always looked at the world if that makes any sense so I wanted to talk to you guys about that um, one thing I don't like in this thing is like if you go on YouTube for you know internet a lot of people say it's a cesspool of uh, information and you so you don't know what's real and what's not and you don't know what to trust and what to go off of and all this other stuff which is agreeable but at the same time, there is some information, even some conspiracies that are found to be true. You feel what I'm saying? So to me, it doesn't matter if it's useless information, useful information, as long as it can make people see the world differently than it is, then, you know, it'll it'll help you evolve further. It'll help you in becoming a better person. So I'm, I'm all down for that. I just don't like those videos where when somebody has some uh, inf some important information, that they want to get out to the world and stuff like that they put it out there but then they play this dark ass heavy ass energy sucking music you know what i'm saying and the music you know music can it can change people's vibration it is vibration it can influence how people feel you know what i'm saying so if you're trying to inform somebody about something why would you do it with like all this negative stuff surrounding it that's the only thing I don't like about it if you're on the search for knowledge and stuff like that. But if you're like me, you start, you know, when you first start learning about stuff like that, you start feeling hopeless to a certain extent because you're like, wow, if it's all this fucked up shit is going on, it's like, you know, what's the point? And other people will have the same outlook like, why are you care why do you care about stuff that you can't change and so on and so forth, right? Well, I don't think that's the point. I think the point is, you know, you know, as long as we're alive, you know what I'm saying, we can figure out some stuff, right? So that brings me down to the topic at hand, of, in addition to the rabbit hole thing, right? So, one of the things I start finding out about, or that you people might already know about, is the money, because you know, money is made by the central banks and so on and so forth, Federal Reserve, they print it up out of thin air, it has nothing to back it. So the only thing that brings value to the dollar is our faith in it, right? The same thing with uh, the energy crisis, so so-called energy crisis. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know they're digging holes in the ground and shit, and we burning stuff up to produce energy. You know what I'm saying? To, to create energy to power our homes, our vehicles, so on and so forth. Well. When you start feeling hopeless about this stuff, you start wondering what's going to happen. I'll tell you. One thing is um, the energy thing. You know, it's billions of people on this planet and stuff, right? So you only can do so much. They want us to believe that you know there's a population problem, and all this other stuff. This, and I was watching this video that said that uh, you know if all the all billion all what six, seven, eight billion people on this planet were to gather together in one spot it will be enough to cover every square inch of LA. And when I thought of that, when I heard that, I was just like, damn. They want us to believe the Earth is overpopulated? I don't think so. I think this planet can sustain a, uh, almost an unlimited amount of people. 
uh, if we treat the planet right. You know what I'm saying? But back to this energy thing. There's already a solution for this right now. There's people all over the world creating these things called uh, free energy devices or zero point de uh, devices. And there's so many ways of doing it. I mean, you know, get energy out of water from, you know, hydrogen and stuff like that. People have been making, trying to find ways to store uh, large amounts of uh, hydrogen in small areas so you can power your vehicle or something like that. Secondly, people are creating these other en uh, uh, energy devices that take in less than 1% of en uh, energy they output. So if you, if you uh, reroute some of the energy back into the device, it will power itself forever. And imagine that. Imagine if I put an electric, en uh, uh, electric engine in my truck right now and then put one of those devices on the electric motor. I would never have to put gas in this vehicle again and it would run forever. The same thing with your house with electricity and heat, you you know. And this is what's going on now. You know, when you in search and you find all the information, you know, you find out that all these people have been killing folks so they can, you know, drill into uh, sacred lands and stuff and, you know, and uh, take the resources and the oils and stuff. Um, you know, flying airplanes in the buildings and all kinds of crap like that. And uh, you start to feel hopeless. But you got to remember, there's billions of people on this planet who have hearts and consciences, and they, you know, they they genuinely want to do good for humanity. So that's one thing, you know what I'm saying, that uh, the energy thing, you know, that's 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 starting to solve itself. You know, there's a lot of bright people out here. Uh, there's, there's, you even see videos of kids creating uh, electrical devices that, uh, you know, power cell phones and all kinds of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so... That's not a problem. Another problem is this fiat currency. You know what I'm saying? It was just steady printing up money out of thin air and stuff like that. Uh, we have the house bubble and stuff, and then you have, uh, you know, with stock and all that stuff. And you don't know if, if the economy is going to last. And of course, you know, like all major economies that fail, you know, they eventually start to come back, you know, and they create a new currency and all this other stuff. But the whole process itself can cause lives and, you know, it can tear it can tear everything apart. You know what I'm saying? So another solution that I saw that came about to solve this fiat currency and uh, kind of uh, remedy these problems we're having with, uh, with um, the um, central banks and all that is this cryptocurrency. Decentralized currency that's not controlled by anyone and by everyone and, you know so I'm like heavily researching into uh, Bitcoin and I never thought anything like this would exist because uh, I have been researching in the gold and silver because I figured what if they came out with this Amero whatever they want to call this new currency from this North American Union or whatever the hell after they destroy the US dollar and it's no longer the world's uh, reserve currency what are we going to do then for money? You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? What happens if they chip everybody and all your currencies on the chip and all this extra shit? Then I was like, damn. They came out with fucking Bitcoin and I believe in 2009 and stuff. Then they came out with fucking uh, Litecoin, you know, and all these other cryptocurrencies. And they're starting to become accepted widely by uh, retailers all over the world. And it's it's taking away the powers that be, you know what I'm saying? The people who are making things worse, it's taking the power away from them and putting it in the hands of regular average people like me and you. So I this was just my video out to you guys that are just researching stuff. You coming in and across to this this rabbit hole of this unlimited information and you start to feel hopeless. Don't feel hopeless. Feel like just know that if you're a good person, because you know if you're a bad person. But if you're a good person, you know you're a good person, you know what I'm saying? Then have faith in yourself and, and know that it's not always going to be bad out there. There's always going to be good solutions and stuff. And as long as you are loving everybody and loving yourself and stuff like that, then there's other people out there that's going to do the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? And um, there's other videos and channels on YouTube you can watch. I watch uh, Vsauce. Um, I also watched this video called, I mean this channel called Spirit Science where they they went through this whole explanation of all this weird stuff or how they think this planet came to be and and talking about Atlantis and all this stuff and um, 
I thought it was very enlightening and it wasn't and you know they get into metaphysics and talking about energies and chakras and crystals and all this other stuff and uh, you know they don't be playing all the dark music and trying to manipulate you and make you feel off you know make you feel fear like you know any average person would that's stuck inside the uh, system anybody who hasn't been unprogrammed yet to still believes that oh you're supposed to grow up get job have family have kids and go to college and all this extra stuff and just get up and do the same thing all over again every day you know what I'm saying people that get outside that and start thirsting for more and start wanting to know more about this planet and this existence you know the work the last thing you want to do is put fear in them and then because you'll just stunt their growth you you'll do the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve instead of trying to wake them up you make them want to stay asleep you make them want to get away from all this other stuff they don't want to hear about negative stuff it's you know it's enough negative stuff going on already so uh, that's my suggestions to you guys uh you guys can watch that Vsauce there's several of them Vsauce I think two and three uh you know talk about selling all these weird items and stuff that you can't normally find in stores spirit science one of my favorite uh podcasts to watch now is uh Runaway Thoughts with uh Ray William Johnson and Anna Akana they're a couple they're pretty cool I uh found them on equals three I was watching them until I think they started doing vlogs and then one day they announced they would do a podcast and um and I started watching Anna's channel too because I didn't know she even had a channel and she talks about all this enlightening stuff and she gives out advice and talks about her personal experience and this you know you, you discover things you never thought you, you you never thought about before that other people experience and runaway thoughts is just out of control because you know they take questions from the audience and stuff about various topics and they discuss their you know their take on it so that's my you know my little video for today I will be putting up a new video next Wednesday and it could be a normal vlog or it could be me discussing more stuff like this that I did today I just wanted to this stuff was on my mind and I just wanted to communicate with some of you guys and hope that some of you guys can understand you know what I've been experiencing and going through well y'all yeah, be safe out there and uh yeah don't do anything crazy all right.